Hi, this is Lee Ellis with a special word today about National POW MIA Recognition Day. You know, this is always a special day for me because I was a POW for five and a half years, but it's also a time to pause and remember those who didn't come home and those that are still missing. You know, as POWs, there's one thing that we were always focused on and that we never forget those who didn't come back. We want to always remember them. So on this day, I'll pause to think about them and remember them. I lost four roommates in that war from either combat training, the war, or the POW camps. Great men who did not come home. And there's so many more, hundreds, thousands more who didn't come home. They sacrificed so much for us and their families, and we need to support them. You know, as we think about National POW MIA Day, it's really about awareness also. But what most people don't know is what the American citizens did to help the POWs during our time there because of that movement that took place to support us, founded by the National League of POW MIA Families, that really made a difference in our treatment. It caused them to stop the torture and enabled us to come home in good shape, in much better mental and emotional condition than we would have ever been. And probably many of us wouldn't have made it without that. So I just wanna say again, thank you to the American people for what you did to raise awareness and change the policy of the US government and the communist government in North Vietnam, both of which ultimately paid off for us. So thank you. As we go through this day, I think my friend, Colonel Mike Brazelton, who was a six and a half year POW there, his words upon returning home were the very best. And so they're here for you today. As you read them, you'll see our gratitude and appreciation for this country, our people, and what we do and what we serve and all the blessings we have.